Now, Botswana has threatened to send 20,000 elephants to Germany in a political dispute. It's over elephant trophy hunting, that's the killing of animals under government licence. Earlier this year, Germany's Environment Ministry suggested there should be stricter limits on importing hunting trophies. But Botswana's president told German media this would only impoverish people in Botswana. He said elephant numbers had exploded as a result of conservation efforts and hunting helped keep them in check. Just to remind you, the country is home to the world's largest elephant population, more than 130,000. It's already sent thousands to nearby countries. Let's talk to Dan Challender, who is a conservation scientist at Oxford University. Uh, Dan, what did you make of this offer to send thousands of elephants to Germany? Well, I think the president of Botswana is seeking to highlight the, the high cost of conserving megafauna species, including elephants. Uh, the people of Botswana incur those costs through loss of life in some cases, damage to crops and damage to, to property. And I think the idea of import bans from European countries stopping trophies coming in from Botswana and other countries is increasingly a diplomatic issue. Uh, and it's because it's something that is deeply emotional to the people of Southern Africa and is very important to them. Uh, and I think it's important that we consider the, the high cost that people uh, pay to conserve and live alongside um, species such as elephants. Is part of the solution sending elephants to other countries, though? Because I think some have gone to neighbouring countries like Angola. Yeah, I think that's very much part of the uh, solution. The idea that elephants would come to Europe is is less realistic, in in my opinion. But I think the key issue here is that these import bans that have been discussed by Germany and a range of other Western countries are, are largely misguided because trophy hunting is not a threat to a, a single species. And so this idea that these import bans would help protect threatened or endangered species is essentially unfounded. And would you say that Botswana has been successful in the way that it's tried to handle some of the species that are where the populations are growing? Absolutely, yeah. Botswana is ranked first in the world for conserving megafauna, including African elephants. So it's got a really successful conservation model, and that happens to include trophy hunting. And I think it's worth highlighting in that context that Germany the UK, other countries that are thinking about putting in place um, import bans on, on hunting trophies, all these countries manage their wildlife in much the same way. So in the UK, where I am right now, in Germany, in other European countries, we hunt and manage wildlife. Germany hunts over 2 million deer, for instance. It also hunts um, ducks and pheasants and partridges and uh, uh, among a whole range of other species. So it's important to situate the measures that have been talked about in that context.